Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to solve multi-step word problems with multiplication and division. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In today's lesson, we will encounter multi-step word problems. Before starting this skill, students have successfully learned to multiply by multi-digit numbers and use the distributive property of multiplication to solve division problems. In this lesson, we will learn a new division strategy similar to the distributive property called the break apart strategy. This strategy involves splitting a larger number into two smaller numbers, making it easier to divide. For a full explanation of the distributive property, revisit the video, Use Multiplication to Solve Division Problems. Before we begin to solve our multi-step problem, let's first code the problem to gain a full understanding of what is being asked of us to solve. Our problem reads, Joy is having a birthday party and wants to serve fruit punch to six guests. She has four 24 fluid ounce bottles of different flavors she wants to mix together in a bowl. If Joy divides the fruit punch equally among the guests, how many fluid ounces will each guest get? To begin to code this problem, we will need to underline the question to understand what we are looking for to find our answer. We will underline how many fluid ounces will each guest get. This statement tells us that our answer will be in fluid ounces, so we are looking for an amount of punch each guest will get. Next, we need to circle any important information or facts to be able to successfully solve. In this case, we will circle six guests, four 24 fluid ounce bottles, and if Joy divides the fruit punch equally among guests. This information is going to be the directions we will use when determining our steps and if we need to multiply or divide. The statement for 24 fluid ounce bottles tells us that we will need to find a total of how many fluid ounces are in the punch bowl. This statement six guests and divides equally among the guests tells us we will need to divide the total amount of punch to find out how much each guest gets. When problem solving, coding the problem is like setting up a game plan to tackle the problem successfully. Just by circling and underlining, we have a plan to get to the answer. In fourth grade lessons, we used a KWPL chart as a tool to help us organize information provided in a word problem. Whether coding in the question or using some kind of graphic organizer, like a KWPL chart, students need to organize the information in a word problem, especially a two-step word problem. Otherwise, things can get a little overwhelming. Now that we have coded our word problem and have a plan, we will follow our steps to solve. Remember, this is a multi-step problem, so it will be important to be sure we have completed all steps before we come to a final answer. In order to solve this problem, we will first need to multiply the four by 24. This is because we have four different bottles with 24 fluid ounces in each, and this will tell us how many total fluid ounces are going into the punch. When we follow the steps of multiplication and multiply 24 by four, we get a total of 96 fluid ounces. These steps were covered in the lesson multiply by one digit numbers please refer back at any point. Now that we know the total amount of fluid ounces in the punch, we need to evenly distribute it among the six guests at the party by dividing. We will use the break apart strategy to divide. If you look at our problem, we will want to break the 96 into two smaller numbers that can be easily divided by six. This means the two numbers must be multiples of six. We can start with 60. Now that we have 60, we need to add a number to that to get 96. That number is 36, which works perfectly because it is a multiple of six. 
Now, we want to divide each of our smaller numbers by 6. Recalling basic facts, students will know that 60 divided by 6 is 10 and 36 divided by 6 is 6. Now that we have divided the two smaller numbers, we will need to add up the answers from both to get our final answer to our division problem or our quotient. When we add the 10 and 6 together, we get an answer of 16. We can now say that 96 divided by 6 is 16. This is the final step to our problem because we now know that each guest was given 16 fluid ounces of punch. Keep in mind, it is important to refer back to the coded problem to be sure all important information has been used and that our answer is reasonable based on what the question is asking. A common error that can occur when students are solving multi-step problems is not being able to identify that the problem requires two steps to solve. For example, in our problem we had to multiply, then divide. Sometimes students will only pull out keywords and numbers. They may see the 6, see the 24, and see the word divide, missing the 4 that is in word form. This could lead some students to dividing 24 by 6 and stopping there. To address this error, continue to have students code the word problem first to be sure it is read carefully so all steps can be identified. Another common error that can occur is that students may not break apart the numbers correctly. For example, when we broke apart 96, we chose 60 and 36 because they were multiples of 6. You can see in this non-example, 96 was split into 70 and 26. These two numbers add up to 96 but cannot be evenly divided by 6. To address this error, have students write out a list of multiples of the number that you are dividing by. In this case, it is 6. For more practice with this skill, revisit the video How to Use Multiplication to Solve Division Problems. This will help review another strategy that can be used to divide. Because basic fact recall is so important with this skill, have students continue to practice their facts for accuracy and speed. This can be done through drills or just calling out problems at home or in the car. Remember, the key to word problems is to truly understand what is being asked and to develop an appropriate plan to solve. With multi-step problems, it is important to identify and solve both steps. To gain a full understanding of this concept, Visit the lesson page to view the rest of the place value, multiplication, and expression set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.